Hey guys, it's Tilly and I was tagged to do the book scavenger hunt challenge by Tanika. Um, so she is flipping through pages and basically she is queen. So go and make sure you check out her video and her YouTube and I will leave a link below to that and she's just amazing. You guys will love her. So basically the scavenger hunt challenge involves answering a series of questions. I believe there's about 19 questions that are involved with all the books behind me. So let's jump straight into it. Question one is find an author's name or title with the letter Z in it. This is where The World Ends by Amy Zhang. This is on my TBR so I haven't read it yet so if you guys have any opinions let me know what this book's like. Find a classic. The Iliad and the Odyssey and this was a very easy question for me because I keep all my classics separate um, which are just like behind the camera up there and it's always part of my Barnes and Noble leather collection edition which is just absolutely beautiful. Find a book with a key on it. Okay. Ta-da! Let's just say You Know Me Well by Nina LaCour and David Levithan has a key on it. Or I put a key on there because I honestly spent about 20 minutes trying to find a book with a freaking key on it. And there wasn't any, okay? So I'm just being useful. Find something on your bookshelf that is not a book. I have a lot of stuff that isn't books on my bookshelf because I tend to have like shelves that I just dedicate all my merch to and basically it builds up very quickly. Find the oldest book on your shelf. So my oldest book is a book of the poetical works of Longfellow and I don't know the exact date that this book was created but it's been dedicated to Rutha Worsley um, in 1877 and it's basically like really well kept, it has that starting to smell gross book stage, but I love it so much. Find a book with a girl on the cover. That's so easy, literally. I just, how many times would you like me to just show you a book with a girl on the cover? Because just starting off with just the closest book to me was, you know, Air of Fire. That's got a girl on the cover. This book here has a girl on the cover. That's got a girl on the spine. The entire selection series. Come on, more complicated questions, please. Find a book that has an animal in it. Munchie. Um, find a book with a male protagonist in it. The Hunt by Andrew Fukuda, and this is like a twist on your paranormal vampires, and it's a trilogy, and it's a male protagonist, and it's pretty action-packed. Find a book with only words on it. So, I don't know if this is cheating or not, because it is an ARC copy, but What We Left Behind by Robin Talley. Find a book with illustrations in it. The Invention of Hugo Carbet by Brian Selznick. And this book, I remember going to the library and always getting it out. Find a book with gold lettering. And I'm doing a lot of hand stuff with these question things. I don't know. Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas, aka one of the best of books ever. Find a diary, true or fictional. So I don't know if this really counts, but there's Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Deliria work because it's kind of like the main character, Laurel, is writing emails to people who have died and that's the way the story is told and I'm really struggling to find a diary or journal so it will do the job. Find a book written by someone with a common name, e.g. like Smith. Victoria Scott seems like a very common name for me, whether it's Victoria, or whether it's Scott, or whether it is all Victoria Scott together. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. That something's gonna have to be an eye because I struggled to find anything that wasn't a close-up of a face, and this was the closest one I could find. So this is Between Shades of Grey by Ripercipides. It is a historical fiction and it's really, really good and heartbreaking, but good. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. <laughs> the Holy Bible. Find a hardcover book without a jacket and that is super easy because I had the tendency of taking the jackets off my hardcovers when I was younger and never finding them again. Shiva, Linga and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. These will forever be without dust jackets and <laughs> I hate it so much. Find a teal slash turquoise coloured book. Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Find a book with stars on it. And my first thought is Aristotle and Dante, but I'll try to think of another one. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and there are plenty of stars on that. It is a pretty 
lovely romantic sci-fi trilogy that is so beautiful. And lastly, find a non-YA book. And that is another historical fiction, and that is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dua. And so many feels for this book. So many. Anyway, that is the uh, Book Scavenger Hunt Tag Challenge. I would like to tag Mary from Books and Cookies, Cass from The Little Book Owl, and Beck from The Book Hangover. And so I will see you guys soon, and until then, have a great week, read lots of books, and hopefully the sun shines wherever you are. Bye!